Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello everyone, I'm Angela Clark from Section CP2B and I'm going to show you my chosen artist. Jean Antoinette, oh, 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 yeah! Anton Watu Anton Watu belongs to Rococo art period, so he is a French painter who typified the lyrically charming and graceful style of the Rococo. He revitalized the one in Baroque style, shifting it to the less severe, more naturalistic, less formally classical Rococo. So his real full name is Jean Anton Watu. He was born on October 10, 1684 in the Flemish town of Valenice in France. He died on July 18, 1721 at the age of 36 in nogent sur mane France due to tuberculosis. One fact about him that he was considered the father of Rococo painting. So he invented the new genre called Fite Galante. So the painting in here is one of the category, an example of the painting Fite Galante. So Fitte Galante actually is a category of painting, especially created by the French Academy in 1777 to describe Anton Watteau's variation on the theme of the Fitte Champetier, which featured figures in ball dresses or a masquerade costume, disporting themselves amorously in parkland settings. So the Fitte Galante, which were scenes of courtship parties, born close to the Flemish border. Watu was influenced by the genre scenes of everyday life that were quite popular in Flanders and the Netherlands. So, here is the one of the famous masterpieces that Anton Watu's made. First, we have the El Embarquement pour Saiter or the Embarkation for Saitera, 1777 to 1788. So this painting, The Embarkation for Satera, also known as The Voyage to Saitera and Pilgrimage to the Isle of Saitera. So Watu submitted this work to the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture as his reception piece in 1777. Another masterpiece he made is the Ellen Cindy Gersain or The Shop Sign of Gersain. 1720 to 1721 so this painting is made in an oil canvas painting in the charlottenburg palace in berlin the painting considered to be the last prominent work of him before he died sometime after so we have also here the another artwork some famous artwork that jean anton what to mean we have the Lesson of Love, 1716. Another painting titled Diana at Her Bath, 1715 to 1716. So Anton Watu was largely responsible for helping to bring the architectural style of intricate whimsy and asymmetry known as the Rococo into painting. Anton Watu personally style used light, soft colors, and asymmetrical compositions to create paintings that were idyllic and warm with, with a subtle hint of melancholy. So, Anton Watu, um, his influence in the field of arts, his influence on the aesthetic of Rococo decor, as well as his presence for erotic genre subjects, was greatly admired and adopted by fellow Rococo artists. Watteau's artistic legacy pervades French art up to the emergence of neoclassicism. So, one of the thing about, uh, I mean, one of the thing I love by by Antoine Watteau is that he has a mind of a being a innovative artist and having a unique style and also the passion of the doing an art so he was an innovative artist who extended rococo beyond architecture interior design and sculpture to the canvas 
the notable elements that what is style unique are the combination of his lofty content and brightly colored landscape. That would be all. Thank you everyone.